What's going on guys, Balkan Arctic here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to modify a railing element or a whole railing type and turn it into a brick fence or a brick wall that you can put around your property when you're doing a project in Revit and it's going to be kind of a classical, just a classical uh, regular brick uh, fence and before I get started I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial it helps me out a lot and if you haven't already I suggest you subscribe because I make videos like this every day okay so here I am in Revit and I'm just going to be using the architectural template for this project and if you're looking for maybe a more classical railing with some classical balusters you might want to check out the link in the description I've already done a tutorial on that but anyway here we are in Revit and I'm just going to be using the railing tool and I'm just going to place a single line over here and just create a simple railing that looks like this okay so once we have this now we can start modifying it and when you're doing some sort of a fence or railing or whatever you would have to start with one of the base uh, Revit railings and then you start modifying it so I'm just going to be using this uh, 100 and, uh, 1100 uh, millimeter high fence and I'm just going to go into edit type go duplicate and let's call this brick fence okay so once we have this new type of a fence let's move this out of the way a bit and let's start editing so first for the rail structure here will be uh, we we're going to be keeping the top railing but we need to add a low lower rail that will actually be a very low brick wall and how do you create that well first we need to insert a new rail and the height will be zero and the offset will be zero and the material will be of course brick so let's find brick and let's see what we have I like to use this uh, either yeah this common brick brown okay so I'm just going to go here to apply okay okay so I have this brick but we don't have a profile uh, Revit offers us some profiles but they're very small as you can see just 30 millimeter 40 millimeter that's that small and if you're uh, in America that's just inch or two so we need to create a new profile so I'm just going to cancel out of, I'll go apply and cancel and cancel out of this so we need to create a new profile family so just go here to the start menu go new family and then here just scroll down and find metric profile or imperial imperial profile if you're using imperial units and just go open and here we have it looks like this so here I'm just going to use a line and create a rectangle that looks kinda like this and just select this line and make it I don't know a hundred millimeters and here that's 200 total and for the height let's go with 400 that's okay as a kind of a low wall and now we're just going to be loading this into our project and again let's select our rail go into 3d zoom in a bit go edit type oops we need to select the rail go into edit type go here into edit okay it deleted our profile because we didn't select the profile okay so we didn't select our uh, bottom rail profile so okay so just search here for family one and again let's set the material to brick yeah it deleted everything yeah okay so let's find common brick okay go apply okay so we have this and just go apply okay and apply again and as you can see now we have that lower wall okay so once that is done now for the top rail I'm just going to leave the top rail there I'm just going to make it a bit smaller so let's go maybe with the circular 440 millimeter yeah and it looks better let's zoom in a bit yeah as you can see now it's a circular uh, top railing now select the same rail and go into edit type now if we go here for the baluster placement you can see we already have some balusters and they're this regular type of a baluster and for the beginning uh, and for the uh, corner post and for the end post we've got the same uh, baluster so I want to change that so for the beginning and for the end let's change something that looks different so maybe this one so let's change all of them to this one and here we are going to make some adjustments so I'm just going to select this one and go here to duplicate and I'm just going to duplicate it a few times okay maybe one more 
okay so and now I'm just going to leave this these distances the same so at 2 275 millimeters but for this one I'm just going to change it to this uh, post that, that looks just a bit different it's uh, 50 by 12 millimeters just so we can see the difference now here in the railing so what I'm actually going to do is for this one I'm going to change distance from previous to something like let's say 400 and here let's do the same 400 so and when we go apply go OK apply and as you can see if we cancel out of this so we've got that one large uh, baluster and uh, if I zoom in like this yeah as you can see we have one larger one and then we have a bigger dip distance and then we have a few of these I think that, uh, that there's six of these regular ones so now we need to add a new baluster for this post over here and how do you do that you need to create a new uh, baluster post family so we need to go again to uh, this big R and go to new you go to family and then here you search for metric baluster and you can search for this metric baluster post and just go open up and this is what you get so once we're here we can maybe change the height let's change it to something larger like I don't know 1300 millimeters go apply okay okay so it's a lot a lot larger so this is the the actual top okay so let's now go into floor plan and if you can't see anything just type in ZA for zoom all and now go to create extrusion and let's create just a rectangular extrusion and as you probably remember our uh, wall in the bottom was 200 by 200 so this will be or 200 by 400 so this will be like 200 so this is side is 100 this one should be 200 and we do the same thing here 100 200 and there you go so we've got this kind of a post and let's go to front elevation and if you can't see anything, anything again zoom all okay we need to do a bit of zooming and now you just attach this to the top and you can lock it in place you attach it to the bottom lock it in place so you have this post and you can edit the material so we can go here find the material and let's search brick okay and let's find common brick is that the one yes yeah, that's the same one that we used uh, back there so go apply okay and now let's load this into the project so go load into the project make sure it says project one or whatever you named your project just don't load it into the family so just go okay and again let's go into 3d zoom in a bit over here okay so once we're here just go into select the railing go into edit type and go here into edit and here for this one so we're just going to change this one to our family 2 and we're going to change all of these to our family 2 let's search family 2 family 2 okay and here for this space uh, make sure to put in 100 and here minus 100 so that's for the beginning and for the finish that's the half of our baluster so just go apply and as you can see here we have our post and we can do some other changes maybe we can change this height we can change this height to I don't know like let's do 1600 apply let's see what this looks like so you can actually change this height and you can uh, you can make sure that this goes past this top railing by going into this family so just go to let's see where is our family to okay here it is go to front elevation and as you can see over here our uh, this post this uh, brick post is actually going to the top of the railing but we can extend it so I can kinda detach it so remove constraints so I extended it just a little bit and then I can use this dimension just to constrain it in place and let's add something more let's go into 3d let's add another element here so go into extrusion pick a plane set a plane to this and let's give it an offset of I don't know something like 30 millimeters just something small to make it look a bit more interesting so let's go back into front elevation maybe make it a bit smaller and now let's just constrain this as well and we can select this extrusion and make it a different material or the same material let's just make it the same material and maybe join these two like that and now load into project 
project one override and as you can see now our balusters are kind of sticking on top of this uh, on top of this railing so and if we go here into realistic this is what we get and as you can see it may kind of messed up over here so you have to be careful with the with the placement of the railing as this is a very unstable family at the time but you get the point so you just go into the railing type and here just by changing the balusters and changing this top or form or maybe we can spread this out let's see if we change this to fit apply apply okay maybe it fixed our problem no it didn't so we can kinda play around with this maybe apply apply okay okay so you can kinda play around and see what works what doesn't but basically edit families just by going there and these two are pretty much where you set all of your baluster and railings families Okay, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share this video. And if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for future tutorials, please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.